Imagine if you could use Instagram on desktop. Think of all those great pictures and videos that you've got stored on your computer or on your external hard drives that you'd love to share with everyone, but you can't because you can only use an app on your phone. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can post to Instagram from your computer, whether you've got a PC or a Mac. Okay, so let's look at using Instagram on desktop. Now, I'm going to show you two options. You've got one for PC and you've got one for Mac. Now, I personally use a Mac. So I found this um, this a little while ago. It's flumemac.com, and I'll show you shortly how to use this and how it works on a Mac. Um, but everyone I've seemed to have spoke to recently that I wanted to share this with uh, have all got PCs. So obviously I let them know that they can't use that. That's that's just for a Mac. But I did say to them that what I'll do is try and find out an alternative and something similar that you can use on a PC. And this is what I found. So you can see this is grambler.com. So G-R-A-M-B-L-R.com. Um, obviously you can see it's got an option there for a Mac as well, but uh, what I've found, I've used it and it's absolutely fantastic. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, so you can use this for PC, so you can download it here. Okay. Um, I have got a PC, I have got a laptop, it's, it's quite an old laptop and I very rarely use it to be honest because I do everything on my Mac. So I personally haven't downloaded this and used it on a PC. But um, I just wanted to share this with you. If you have got a PC, it's another alternative. So you can see here um, a video showing you exactly what to do. So I'll just play this video uh, and sort of run through it. So if I just maximize that and play the video and we'll see how it works on a PC. So you can see obviously they're ch changing the um, language and they're signing up. So they're putting in their email address, password, confirm password. And then you need to put in the Instagram username because obviously it's going to connect with your Instagram account and your username for uh, sorry your password for your Instagram account as well. So it's going to be logging into your Instagram account obviously to post. So you can see they're getting an image and cropping an image. So they've got that. Adding some filters. Adding uh, different filters there. So you can see the the picture changing. Adding uh, icons and graphics and things like that. So if, just clicking on there putting onto the graphic, resizing it, repositioning it, and moving that around. So once I've done that, um, apply, so click apply, and save. And so you can see the image there, continue. And this is obviously where you're gonna be typing in something. So I love Jupiter, so amazing, hashtag. So obviously including hashtags and then send. And you can see they've got immediately just there. So they've clicked send, obviously it's linked to their Instagram, Instagram account. Uh, clicking on yes and clicking on photo and then it should show you the photo on their Instagram page. Okay, so there you go, that's Instagram and you can see there that that's posted that image uh, to their Instagram account. Okay, so if I minimize this, so that's the demonstration video um, on this site. So I love it when... <laughs> I love it when uh, people do demo videos and don't actually talk. Um, I don't know why they why they do that. They sh you know, why they can't just talk through it and actually explain what they're doing. Um, you can also use this on PC to uh, post videos as well. So sending a video from your computer to Instagram. So again, you've got a video there showing how to do that. So similar sort of thing. Um, what they're doing there, just logging in, clicking on this to upload a video. And I think once they've got a video, they they uh, crop it. No, oh, that's uh, I think that's done already. I think that's shown already. One second. Yeah, here we go. So they're clicking on that to upload a video, and you can see the video in there. There. Ah, this is one thing. What they're doing, obviously, with Instagram, you can only upload videos that are less than sixty seconds. Okay, so it looks like you're putting a video in there and then cropping the time um, just to show that section of the video that you want to upload. Uh, so if we continue watching this video, so they're doing that, obviously capturing the whole sides of the video. Again, inserting a, a caption and adding some hashtags. Uh, you've got it set to immediately there, and then they'll click send. So I'd imagine this is going to show now the video on their page. And once this is done, then I'll obviously just cover the... Uh, using the Instagram on the Mac, which is obviously like what I've got. So I'll show you the actual um, the actual app in use as well. So you can see there that's posted a video to their Instagram account. Okay, so I'm going to pause that. So that's, that's to uh, use Instagram on your PC. So just go to uh, grambler.com 
as far as I can see I don't think there's uh, I can't see any price options there so I presume that's free um, I can't even see pricing at the top here you can't see any price in here I'll take screenshots in case you've got some screenshots there so yeah if you want to if you've got a PC and you want to use Instagram uh, on your PC then I'd suggest going to Grambler and if you want to use it on a Mac then you can see here so flumemac.com and you can see this is uh, flume for Mac download so you've got a, you've got a free option and uh, an upgrade a pro option now I've personally got the pro option what I, su what I suggest um, is downloading this first of all to your Mac so download the app so you can see here it basically shows I'll, I'll open mine in a second um, but it, it's basically just like using Instagram literally just like using Instagram on your Mac so you've got uh, these options if you wanted to take a look at this some of the pro options you've got these here okay so you can do it everything um, inside your account one thing I will say is when I um, spoke to someone who has a Mac <laughs> probably the one person I spoke to recently who did have a Mac um, he went through this and what we discovered was it's a little bit confusing because you obviously when you um, when you upgrade and you get a, a license to use uh, this app then you get obviously these in your email so check your email and you'll get a license code um, but it was a little bit confusing as to uh, how he was sort of inputting that so I'll show you that in a second but I'd suggest first of all downloading the app to your Mac and once you've done that if I go to mine so I'm just going to go to my apps and you can see here so I've got Flume so I'm going to click on that so that'll open the app you can also get an extension as well uh, like a Chrome extension so I'm just going to minimize that so you can see here now if I just put that on full size so you can see now I can scroll through so this is literally just looking at uh, Instagram and let's go if I double click on this one second if we go back so I'm going to minimize that a little bit um, you can also see these options so you can see uh, the different layouts so that or this so you can see all these posts now in a, in a grid layout and to post on it so in the same way you obviously create your account you use your Instagram uh, name and password because you've got to bear in mind this is linking to your Instagram account um, so it can again that can be something confusing as well when you when you put in a username and password you might be thinking well where where is my username and password but it's actually your Instagram one so we can go now to file and new now I can start a new post or a new conversation so if we go to post then you can see here all I need to do is um, click on this to upload a, an image or a video and or you can drag and drop so if I click on it I can, I can go take a photo or select a photo video or draft so I'm going to click on that and then I'll go here now these videos uh, are some videos that I've just recently created so if we go to um, let's go for a photo let's go for a picture just to show um, these are all going to be videos now <laughs> uh, let's go for one second so let's go for this thumbnail image so open okay so you can see this thumbnail image now and here I can just add uh, a caption so I'm just going to put test and then you can remember to add hashtags as well so if I add a hashtag I'm going to put test and let's go for another one uh, testing okay and again you can see here that as you're typing these hashtags similar to on, on your phone when you're using the app you get all these different um, examples pop up as well and it shows you how many posts you are using that hashtag so you can just click on let's say for example uh, testing testing let's click on that so that's added that hashtag and also you'll see here that first of all you can see 27 out of 2200 characters have been used so you've got a character count there um, for your description and for your character and for your uh, hashtags you can also see here which is really handy um, you can see that you've you've used two out of 30 uh, hashtags now on Instagram you can use a maximum uh, of 30 hashtags in one post and obviously when you're creating hashtags and, and adding hashtags to your post the more hashtags you have the more uh, likely it is that people are going to find your image on uh, Instagram because people are sometimes going to be looking at ha certain hashtags to find certain images okay so the more hashtags you use the better obviously use you know relevant hashtags but that's got a, a counter there as well for those so it gives you a good indication of how many of you used. now if you go to post just click on that and you can see this is just finishing up 
So now if I go to my Instagram account, so I'm just going to go to Safari, and you can see now this has just posted this to my Instagram account. Okay, so testing, testing. So that's the post I've just added. So what I'll do is I'll delete that in a second. And there you go. So that's how you can use Instagram on desktop, whether you've got a PC or a Mac. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, remember to hit the like button and click subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell icon next to subscribe so you'll get notified when I upload uh, new videos. So thanks again for watching and I'll speak to you soon.